Nextcloud is the suite of client server software that allows you to host your own private file hosting service and more, giving you complete control over your data and making it available anywhere in the world. And with the power of TrueNAS, you can host your own Nextcloud instance directly from the same flexible network attached storage software you use today. In this video, we'll focus on installing Nextcloud on TrueNAS Core. And for those of you using TrueNAS Scale, check the description below for a link to our documentation on how to install Nextcloud on TrueNAS Scale. First things first, let's get a few assumptions out of the way. This tutorial assumes you already have TrueNAS Core installed and working, that you've created at least one data pool, and that your system is connected to the internet. Head over to your TrueNAS Core's web UI and log in with your username and password. We have one quick stop to make before we install the Nextcloud plugin, and that's to disable hardware offloading for our network interface. Head over to the left and click Network, and then select Interfaces. In the list on the right, locate the network interface you'll be using for serving Nextcloud data. On our system, we have two network interfaces with only one connected. Once you've found the interface you'll be using for hosting your plugins, click the arrow on the far right and click the Edit button below. In the Interface Settings window under Other Settings, locate Disable Hardware Offloading and check the box. A confirmation alert message about disabling hardware offloading appears asking us to confirm our changes. Disabling hardware offloading is recommended for network interfaces that serve plugins, jails, or virtual machines, so this message is expected. Go ahead and click the checkbox for confirm and click continue. Now click apply at the bottom to apply the settings to the network interface. As a safety precaution, TrueNAS requires testing of network changes to prevent unintended connectivity loss to your host. This is a great feature that keeps you from being disconnected from TrueNAS in the event of an invalid network setting. Our changes here won't cause a loss of connectivity, but we'll test all the same. Locate the Test Changes button at the top and click it. In the Test Changes dialog box, locate the checkbox for Confirm, click it, and click Test Changes. By default, you have 60 seconds to click the Save Changes button on top to save the changes made to the network interface or TrueNAS will revert the changes. Click Save Changes and confirm by clicking the Save button. Once we see the Changes Saved confirmation box, click Close to continue. Okay, great. Let's get the Nextcloud plugin installed. Head over to Plugins on the left. If this is the first time you've created a plugin on TrueNAS Core, you'll be asked to choose a pool for your plugin in Jail Storage. We'll select our pool and click Choose. The process completes quickly. IX Systems has an officially maintained plugin of Nextcloud that we can quickly install. Locate the Nextcloud plugin in the list and click the Install button on the right. We'll need to give our new Nextcloud plugin a name. We'll use the name Nextcloud and we'll leave the defaults as they are. Click Save and TrueNAS will begin the plugin installation. This can take a bit to complete, so be patient. When the plugin install is completed, we'll be greeted with the plugin installed successfully dialog box with details about the install. Click close at the bottom to continue. Below we can now see our newly installed Nextcloud plugin listed, its status, the URL to the admin portal, and that it's set to start on boot. Congratulations, we've successfully installed Nextcloud on TrueNAS Core. Let's get logged into Nextcloud and have a look around. Click the arrow on the far right of our plugin and locate the post install notes button and click it. During the installation, a default admin account was created and a unique password was generated. We'll need this user and password to log into our new instance of Nextcloud. You also see the database name and the database user and password that were generated during the installation. Locate the password for our Nextcloud admin user, highlight it, copy it, and click Close. Now locate the Manage button at the bottom and click it. This will take us to the webpage of our fresh Nextcloud install. Welcome to the login page of Nextcloud. The default admin user is ncadmin, and the password is the unique password we copied from the post install notes dialog box. Enter the username and paste the copy password in and click login. Once logged in, you'll be greeted with the Nextcloud introduction explaining all of the great features and functionality available from within it. Use the arrows on the right to advance through the introduction. After you close the introduction, you'll land on the dashboard of Nextcloud. From here, you can check out all of the features and functionality that Nextcloud has to offer. This is a great time to mention that we have a ton of helpful documentation and resources to help you get the most out of Nextcloud on TrueNAS. And our fantastic community is full of great people who are willing to answer any questions you might have. We highly recommend you check out our docs, bookmark them, and join the community. Thank you for watching.